How's it going, YouTube? This is Wi-Fi Memory here today. Today I am bringing you some more Flygon um, and Lantern action. Um, today we are going up against an opponent that is using Breloom, Gyarados, Garchomp, Zatu, Magnezone, and Venomoth. Okay, very cool team. Very interesting. I don't necessarily know what that Venomoth was wanting to do. Zatu is a very interesting Pokemon because it definitely has the ability Magic Bounce. So setting up Stealth Rocks can be very risky. Um, honestly, I think in that scenario, in this scenario, I think leading Salamence just to be able to check whatever they want to bring for uh, turn one might be the best lead option and then we can go from there. So that's my game plan. Salmon's gives me the most versatility against what he can do to us, so, um, or at least that's what I'm thinking. So we'll definitely see if we can pull it off. So he starts off with Reno, the Zatu. Very cool. So we, we do start off with the Salmon's. Let's see what we can get going. We do have the Rock Slide, so we can hit this thing super effective. And I have no problem going for it, just to see how much damage we're going to do. He's actually opt to switch out. Maybe expecting the uh, dragon attack, he goes into Magnezone, which is a great switch in, actually. I'm going to be honest. Um, he takes the rock side pretty well. Um, we are Choice Scarf, so we have to switch out, because there's no way we're going to be hitting this thing that hard. But he does show us that he is Leftovers. So that's good information to note. We are Water Exorb on our Lantern, so unfortunately that's not going to be the sauce. Let's go out into our Flygon though. Um, if he goes for Flash Cannon, you go for Flash Cannon, it does about half. If he goes for Thunder Wave though, fantastic stuff for us. We're able to go for a free Earthquake. He does have the Gyarados in the back, so you think he's going to go into it? That's a tough call. He could stay in, or he could be switching, because I don't think Magnezone should be doing that much to us. Let's go for that U-turn. He does switch. He has Zatu in the back as well. He goes back into the Zatu as we go for that big U-turn. So I'm really glad we didn't go for the Earthquake. We get some nice little damage off onto that Zatu as we're able to switch out to pivot into something to counter the Zatu. And at, in this in this spot, Lantern. Lantern counters Zatu really well. We can actually get the Lantern starting to set up and we'll be in a great spot. Let's go ahead and set up a Substitute. I do really enjoy this Lantern set because it reminds me of an older version of Lantern where it sets up the Substitute and Charge Beam itself until it just gets really strong and bulky. And Pokemon like this Breloom, hey, Breloom has to break my uh, substitute before he can put me asleep. Keep that in mind. Um, so I, I do have a free uh, Ice Beam here. And why not go for it? It should do roughly half. Um, unfortunately, I will not be able to, um, ooh, good play on the Bullet Seed. Yeah, that, 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 this could do a lot of damage, actually. That, dang. Oh, man, you hate to see it. Crit, two? two? Okay, at least it hit two times, but... Man, we could have lost Lantern. Foolish, foolish boy. I thought that was about to do half. We actually do quite a bit of damage. We do a massive a chunk to that Breloom. Unfortunately, I don't think we have a great switch into a Bullet Seed. Oh, well, we got Torco. Only problem is with Torco, are we willing to give up Lantern or Torco? Lantern's super low, Torco's not. I think at this point in the battle, we keep Torco around because I think Torco's got, got some value. And, um, because the problem is, yeah, we can switch into Torco, take the Bullet Seed. But then he's going to be able to revenge or uh, revenge for us, potentially, you know. Um, in this scenario, I can go into my Salamence now, and we're going to be scaring a KO. 
I'm going to go for a... Hmm. Let's go for an Earthquake. Like, I know you got those flying Pokemon. But I do... I have a high... I have a feeling that you're going to go into that uh, Magna Zone. So let's go for that Earthquake. I, I just feel that Magna Zone. Look at that. Playing the game how it's supposed to be played. Predicting and we're getting every we're getting the cause correct. He has two flying types, guys, and we were able to knock out that um Magna Zone with a predicted earthquake. He has that Gyarados and he has that Zatu. And we were able to pick him off. He goes into Breloom again. Okay. Let's just go for an earthquake. I'll take this KO. Thanks for the free KO, man. Thank you very much. So the Breloom also goes down. Crit did not matter, obviously. Um, I, as soon as he brings out that flying type, I'm forced to switch my um, Salamence out. But I'm going to go for Earthquake until uh, you show me that you got a flying type that you want to bring out. Reno, that's the Zatu. Okay, that's fine. At that point, at this point, I'm trying to think, Zatu really ain't that. I don't think it actually hits that hard, does it? Hmm, this is a tough call. Let's go into fly on. Yeah, we're kind of forced to switch our Salamence out, and Salamence was in a very good spot other than we were locked into uh, Earthquake. Reflect. Good play. Good play. Watch this thing be like clay as well, and that would just be the end of my world right there. Really and truthfully, I don't really want to lock myself into Dragon Claw or Outrage. I'm just going to go for U-Turn. I'm trying to get in a Pokemon relatively safe. We could go. I don't think. I don't think Mozatus. I don't think they uh, actually are very threatening to Masquerade. I don't. You don't see that many um, air attacks, flying attacks on a Zatu. So, and this one definitely gets gives me the vibes of uh, setting up like screens and stuff so I think we're actually in a decent spot to go ahead and get some quiver dances off I don't I mean I don't think it can stop us because Optu 1 is not very strong on the special attack side I say that hopefully it doesn't like kill me there's a psychic yeah if it had a flying attack it would have went for it it does not fantastic let's go ahead and basically the idea is to um Quiver Dance until we know Masquerade just cannot take no more. And then we're just going to hope that um, they. Ooh, teleports. It's very interesting because it's negative six priority. So it guarantees that you get to be switched out last. Very interesting tech because that puts my Masquerade definitely have to go more offensive now. Let's see. Who. Who do you go out into? Mini the Gyarados. Hmm. Unfortunately, we lost the Lantern early. We don't know how many turns of, um... We don't have no idea how many turns of a, um... Of screens you have set. But we can go ahead and set, set up our sticky web now. And you go for Stone Edge. Yeah, that that that's fine. Critical hit to dang it. <laughs> but yeah, that's fine that we lost uh, Masquerade there. We were able to get the sticky web off, and that just gives us speed control for the rest of the game, basically. Now we're gonna go into Salamence. He's running uh, out of rock slide switch ins, really, too. So let's go ahead and throw some rock slides out and see what we can pick off. Hopefully, Reflect will end here soon. Can we get a flinch? 
Since you got the crit, can we get a flinch, please? I guess not. Alright. Does reflect wear off here? Does not. So it has to be light clay Zatu. Which is good information to note. We do still outspeed. We are Choice Scarf, so it does make sense. Can we flinch? Can we flinch? And he goes for Stone Edge. Uh oh. And he gets the one hit KO. Okay. Things got very interesting all of a sudden. Let's go into Flygon. He's only got one Dragon Dance off. The problem is. Can Flygon outspeed? We can. Can we get the KO, please, Flygon? Flygon, come on. Alright, at least survive. Okay, that was that came down really close. Let's get that Dragon Claw off. And um, at least we got the Gyarados KO, so we don't have to worry about that Gyarados no more. Man, that Gyarados wrecked my team, though, did it not? Alright. You got Garchomp. Thanks for the sticky webs. If Even if he's Choice Scarfed, we should be able to outspeed. Unfortunately, I don't think Flygon packs enough power to actually KO a Garchomp. No. No, no, not even close. Flygon goes down due to rough skin. What is uh, Garchomp wanting to do? He's going, he's, he went for Outrage instead of Sword Stance. Fantastic. Let's go into Skeptile. We got Dragon Pulse. And we're Life Orb, so this should hit relatively. I mean, we should be able to get the KO here. Fantastic. Good job, Skeptile. How many Pokemon you got left? I'm pretty sure maybe one more. We'll see, we'll see. Reno, the Zatu, comes back out. You got two more. We got Torko in the back as well. But two special attackers. Zatu is definitely a special attacker, but we're almost confirmed that he does not have an air move. Air Slash, due to um, him going for Psychic against us over um, Air Slash, where it would have been super effective. So he sets up another light screen. Okay. That's a smart. That's smart. Just go ahead and set up another eight turns of light screen. Do we get the KO now? No, unfortunately, we, we do not. So he might be throwing a Psychic our way. Yep. Which Skeptile does not appreciate, but we are going to be able to get this, this KO on this Zatu now. We might be in overgrowth range? Question mark? Yeah, we're in overgrowth range. So let's see. Whoever comes in is going to get sticky webbed. EMG. The Venom off. Oh, no way. Okay. I mean, I feel good having Torco in the back. I really do. Let's just... Let's go for the Dragon Pulse until he KOs us, basically. If he Quiver Dances, we might be a little screwed. We'll see what happens, though. Yeah, there's the Quiver Dance. He's going to let us pretty much KO ourselves as he sets up a Quiver Dances. Hmm. And he shows leftovers as well. Or black sludge. Is it smart to switch Skeptile out? Go into Torko, let him have another quiver dance. That's a tough call. That is a very tough call. I'm gonna stay in with Skeptile. Go for the dragon post. KO ourselves basically. Let's see. It's going to be Torco because I need the light screen to be definitely off. I don't want no light screen. Unfortunately, though, I don't know if a plus two Venomoth is going to be able 
we'll be able to KO us or not, you know? Because, I mean, Torko has some decent special defense, but it's not that great. But Venomoth probably doesn't have that high of a special attack either, I wouldn't imagine. Let's go for it. Let's, let's battle. Torko versus Venomoth. Come on, Torko. Bug Buzz. That does a lot of damage. One more of those and we definitely lose. Come on, Torko. You gotta get this KO. That did no damage whatsoever. That, I mean, that's definitely due to the light screen. Plus, he set up two quiver dances. So, I mean... Hey, our man, he, he played very well. And I gotta give him credit where credit's due. Good job. Bug buzz for the win. And that's how you do it, guys. Good game. Good game. Guys, if you guys did enjoy today's video, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are new, this is Wi-Fi Merriman signing out. And peace.